Hello everyone. On this video, I'm going to take you through the data exercise number three. As you know, the first part of your exercise is about the format of your project. So there are certain acceptable formats. These acceptable formats are listed here. Make sure that I will not accept any handwritten, scanned, or any other file uploaded to Google Drive. I will not see it and I will not uh, accept it. The paper should be written in APA style format and make sure that no more than 20% of your project is made out of quotes. Uh, make sure that you use the APA citation methodology and also you have here five important points that you need to go through before you submit your project. So this project consists of two parts. On this video, I'm going to go through the first part, which is related to GDP in different countries. This part consists of 50% or, or accounts for 50% of your assignment grade. So for this first part, you need to go to the World Development Indicators database. And when you go to this database or by clicking on this website, um, you need to follow the instructions of uh, points A through G. And the instructions are related to the specific variables that you need to uh, select and the latest available year and the layout that is required. And then you download the data set in Excel format and then once you get your data set, you can start editing it. Uh, so once you get your Excel table, you can start editing it. Uh, here we have just this very simple example. So the project is asking you to select 15 countries. And these are randomly selected countries. So you choose whatever. And obviously, this means that this table would go from line number 1 to line number 15. So it's supposed to be like 15 lines here. And you need to list... For example, country number one, the value for GDP, the population total, and then you need to compute yourself the per capita GDP, which is simply this column divided by this column. Okay? So after you're done, you, you basically need to uh, provide a short report in your own words, and your short report should go over these four points. Okay, of course, you can write more details if you wish, but make sure that you hit all these four points in your analysis. Okay, what are the list of countries that you have chosen? Is there a specific reason for the choice of this um, data set? You need to list your countries from the highest per capita GDP to the lowest. And if you uh, reorder this data set in terms of total GDP and not the per capita GDP. Is there any difference? And if there is, you need to explain it here. And also you need to analyze and discuss the significance of this data and then uh, relate it to what we have discussed in our lecture. So to make it easy for you, I'm going to show you how you would download the data set. So you simply you go to the World Development Bank data bank and uh, we need to go to there are different databases our assignment is related to the world development indicators uh, so we have already chosen our database next we need to select our countries the assignment is asking you for five countries um, I'm uh, sorry, 15 countries, I'm going to select just five randomly, okay? So I'm just going to select five countries randomly, okay? So these are four, and let me check the fifth. And next, you need to select your variables. Um, of course, we need GDP in current US. So when you go here, you see it here. So we need two data series, GDP, current US, and population in total. So you can go with the GDP, so it starts with G, right? And or easier, you can just type GDP, and this search would take you to, the, to all the words where we find GDP. We need to carefully look for the variable that we need. 
So GDP, we have different ones. We need the one which is current US dollar. Okay, so current US dollar. And our next variable is population. Right, so we have many uh, variables that are listed with population. So we need to look for the population total. Okay, somewhere towards the end, I remember. Yes, it's right here. Okay, and that's it for our series. Our next part is we need to select it for the most recent year. So some of the data sets I know are available for 2019. However, some are available for 2018. So let's start with 2019 and hopefully we have all the data for all the countries. If not, don't get panicked. You can go to 2018 and mention on your project that this is the latest available data set for the specific uh, series that you are choosing. Okay, so so far, we've, we've followed the instructions uh, up to number C. Next, about the layout. So when you go to here, we have layouts. We need to choose page for time. So time, we will select page. We need to select column for series. So here, it's just like a format style um, that is required in your project but in like if you're doing any project you can go with whatever layout that you might feel comfortable and then throw all right and then that's it so we can go here right and say okay apply uh, or I mean download in Excel or you can apply changes making sure that the changes are there and then get it into Excel okay and once it is downloaded, you can open it and start playing with it, right? So let's see. Um, okay, so so what we have here is GDP, right, and population for the five randomly selected countries. I was lucky enough that these countries has data up to 2019. All what I need to do now is to compute GDP per capita. And the GDP per capita is simply equal to this column divided by this column, right? And that's it, so this is what you need, okay? And this is how it's computed. You can order it based on the highest GDP. And this would expand the selection for everyone, right, for all the countries. And this would give me from the highest to the smallest. And Australia, Austria are the top two. Does it make any difference? And this is what the assignment is asking you. If you make the order from the largest to smallest and you expand the selection for GDP. Now I have the first two are the same, but the third one is now is Bangladesh, um, which as you know, or as you can see, right, the population is huge. So you need to look at the results and analyze it in terms of what you see it and in terms of how GDP per capita is computed, right? Um, all right, so... This is for the first part of your assignment. Uh, I hope this is clear. And uh, once you're done, you just, oh, sorry, this is assignment three, right? You, you save it and then you can upload it on the, on the course website. All right? All right, everyone. So let me know if you have any questions on the discussion forum.